Scientists have been saying for decades that Big Bang Theory is the only way we could understand the origin of this universe. But the James Webb Telescope recently revealed images that might completely prove the Big Bang Theory wrong. It's believed that the universe is expanding constantly, but that might not be the case after all, as suggested by the data collected from James Webb Telescope. So make sure to watch this video to the very end and find out all about it. Scientists are now forced to question their whole belief system as the James Webb Telescope is sending data back from millions of light years away. The telescope is actually giving a hard time to scientists who are trying to defend the Big Bang Theory as a lot of the data completely contradicts what we believed in. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe started by expansion and it still is expanding. But the images from James Webb Telescope suggest small galaxies from millions of light years away. If the universe was actually expanding, how could its galaxies be pretty much of the same size as a universe? It would be a lot more vast, as it's ever expanding, and this question is actually haunting the astronomers every single day. The James Webb Telescope was actually able to look so far back in time that no human alive or dead had ever seen. According to a few scientists, the images from James Webb show stars that are even older than the Big Bang, and it doesn't make sense because the Big Bang Theory suggests that all the things came into being after the explosion and expansion. A lot of scientists also believed that the smaller galaxies merge and then form a new galaxy, but there really is no sign of any disastrous merging between the galaxies, not even a dent. Merger of the galaxies might not be that common process after all. So if there's no concept of merger, it means the galaxies we see were never small to begin with. Not only this, but the James Webb Telescope also uses infrared light to figure out the composition and age of planets and distant galaxies. And in this case, the James Webb Telescope took images of galaxies that formed 400 million years after the Big Bang happened. However, some of the galaxies have a stellar population of over a billion years old according to certain scientists. This shows that these galaxies are even older than the Big Bang itself and even prove that the Big Bang might not be the origin of the entire universe. A few scientists also said that when James Webb looked millions of years back in the past, there were galaxies even bigger than our Milky Way. These galaxies are known to have formed after a few hundred million years of the Big Bang. But how is it possible that so many massive galaxies formed in such a short period after the Big Bang? Well, these galaxies were already there, and there really was no Big Bang. Or at least, that's what some of the scientists are now saying. The thing is that the Big Bang was the only tangible explanation we had for the origin of the universe, and it also had a lot of promising data supporting it. However, taking the Big Bang out of the equation would simply mean that we would have to start from the very beginning. And all the research we've done on the Big Bang for so many years doesn't really matter, and we would have to come up with a new explanation for the origin of the universe, formation of galaxies, existence of exoplanets and life on Earth all from scratch. It might sound like a nightmare to theoretical astronomers and scientists, but some of them are actually countering all the points that prove Big Bang Theory wrong. According to them, the only promising theory of existence cannot just be pushed under a rug by a few photographs. Even though the news of Big Bang Theory being a hoax went viral and a lot of people chimed in, the truth is that science still stands behind the theory, and they believe that it's the ultimate answer to all our questions regarding the formation of the universe and existence of our solar system. There still are loopholes in Big Bang Theory which opens it up for debate, like there still is no explanation of why it actually happened. A lot of scientists have come up with their theories of what might have caused the Big Bang, but a lot of it just doesn't make sense. A lot of experiments have been designed till date that demonstrate how particles actually react if they're filled with so much energy. But according to Alexandra Witz, James Webb has pretty much shattered all the notions that scientists had about the early universe. Some astrophysicists are also saying that James Webb has found a galaxy that's so ancient that it might raise a lot of questions to our preconceived theories about early universe and galaxy buildup. Jehan Kartaltepe from Rochester Institute of Technology said that what they thought galaxies at such vast distances would look like is not panning out well. He says that the reality of exoplanets and ancient galaxies is actually blowing their mind. Most scientists are coming to the rescue of the Big Bang Theory, 
and explaining how it still is very valid and how all the points proving it wrong are completely absurd. It's only been a few months since James Webb has gone into space, and we're already questioning the theories that helped us understand the basics of our origin. So it wouldn't be wrong to say that James Webb is going to completely change and transform our understanding of outer space. Not only this, but according to the Big Bang Theory, the early universe was initially made of simpler elements like hydrogen and with time, the buildup added complex elements. But according to the studies by Jonathan Trump from the University of Connecticut, Webb Telescope shows that the early universe was actually far more dense and richer with elements ranging from hydrogen to oxygen. If we add it all up, it actually becomes really hard for Big Bang theorists to counter and challenge. But scientists are now saying that what they already knew about the early galaxies actually wasn't the complete picture, and now that they have the data from James Webb, they can do more research and refine their theories. Scientists are also pointing out that by cherry-picking certain evidence, we can't completely ignore the cosmic microwave background, which is one of the biggest pieces of evidence of the Big Bang. It's the heat that was left over by the event of the Big Bang, and it's still present. It is also being pointed out that the James Webb Telescope has found out a lot of evidence that actually supports the Big Bang Theory, so all these conspiracy theories are nothing but a sham. Some evidence that the galaxies initially were not as simple and small as scientists thought doesn't really mean that it completely disproves the Big Bang Theory. There are actually thousands of scientists that stand behind this theory and that are researching this newfound data to prepare their counter-arguments. But whatever people say, the Big Bang Theory still holds a lot of credibility, and it couldn't be proven wrong until some extremely solid data against it is found. So, do you think the Big Bang Theory could actually be wrong after all these years? Tell us in the comments section. Also, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.